Welcome to Sports with Charity Chambers. Howdy, welcome to Sports with Charity. I'm Charity Chambers, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a preview of a key matchup in week two of the NFL. I'm talking about the Eagles versus the Cowboys game. Now, let's start off with talking about the Cowboys. They had a great win in week one over the Giants. They pulled it out in the last minute. It was spectacular, whatever you want to call it. And Tony Romo really stepped up to the plate. He had a total of 356 passing yards, which was second in the NFL in week one. And it was overall just a great win. Now, with that being said, their running game obviously suffered. They no longer have DeMarco Murray. He's with the Eagles. We'll get to that a little bit later. But... Their running game isn't going to be the same because they don't have DeMarco Murray and nobody's going to be able to fill that place right now that DeMarco Murray held for that team. And also, we have to keep in mind, this past week, Des Bryant got injured. He just had surgery. They said it went well. But before he had surgery, they were expecting him to be out for four to six weeks. After surgery, now they're saying more like eight to 12 weeks. That's a huge deal for Cowboys and Cowboys fans everywhere. Des Bryant being out for 8 to 12 weeks, meaning he's going to be out for the majority of the season. They're going to need to look for key receivers to step up to the plate. Of course, you have Jason Lynn, but they're going to need to look to players like Terrence Williams to step up. And I'm not really sold on Terrence Williams being the best <laughs> replacement for Des Bryant. I mean, of course, no one can replace Des Bryant, but somebody's going to need to at least try and fill that spot. And I think they're going to need to look to Terrence Williams to do that job. I'm not sold on him because in 2013, he was targeted 74 times and caught 44 of those passes. 2013, he did a little better. He was targeted 64 times and caught 37 of those. Now, I know with him being a target, I know that stat is a little iffy because you don't know if the ball was really thrown correctly or what circumstances, but at the same time, you got to catch the ball. You have to make that catch. And I really think that they're going to need to be looking for that Romo Williams connection since Des Bryant is going to be out for what it seems a, a substantial amount of time. All right, now let's take a look at the Eagles side of the ball. They lost week one to the Falcons 26 to 24. And honestly, they should not have lost that game. Chip Kelly did not utilize DeMarco Murray, who was the running back for the Cowboys. He didn't utilize DeMarco Murray in the way that he should have. Chip Kelly only gave the ball to DeMarco Murray eight times. And honestly, those eight times really were insignificant. With that being said, this led me to believe, this led me to think, why didn't Chip Kelly really utilize DeMarco Murray? Why didn't he use him like he should have? And it made me think that maybe Chip Kelly was already looking forward to week two, even if it means losing to the Falcons. Maybe he wanted this win against the Cowboys that much. Maybe he wants to utilize DeMarco Murray in a way that the Cowboys haven't seen. Now we know the Cowboys know DeMarco Murray very well. He played for them. He was their star running back, but maybe Chip Kelly is planning on utilizing him in a different way. And he didn't want to give that away to the Cowboys on week one, knowing that he had to play them the next week. So I completely just made that up. I'm hoping that's why he didn't really utilize him. He was playing Darren Sproles, but I really do hope that that's why he didn't utilize DeMarco Murray in the way that he should have. So we will see if that's the case. Now I want to talk a little bit about Sam Bradford. I am not sold on Sam Bradford as a franchise quarterback. Granted, he was fifth in passing yards in week one of the NFL, but I'm still not sold on him yet. I've never been sold on him as a franchise quarterback, and I would not <laughs> pay him a lot of money. I would not want to build my franchise around Sam Bradford. Now, this is week one, but I just I don't see him as a franchise quarterback. We will see later on how that pans out, but that's just my opinions on that. So with all that being said, my pick for week two, Eagles versus the Cowboys, I'm going to go with the Eagles. And not just because I really don't like the Cowboys, but because of the fact that they have DeMarco Murray, if they utilize him correctly, they will they will win. And also for the fact that the Cowboys will not have Des Bryant. This will be their first week where they really need to see what changes they need to make in order to make this season a great one without Des Bryant by their side. All right, guys, there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below on your thoughts, who you think will win this matchup, why you think they'll win. Don't forget to like this video. I'm Charity Chambers, and you've just been scooped.